here's the problem uh, in most pickup trucks the beds are very deep and it's very hard to reach into the back of the pickup truck if you want to try to get the cargo there you're still about two or three feet short even on a small truck like this a Nissan Frontier with a five and a half foot bed it's very difficult with the tailgate down to reach inside and as a result most people end up putting all their cargo in the back of the truck what would be nice is to have some sort of sliding mechanism to slide the tray out <clears throat> to put your baggage in. Nissan does provide this rail system on the truck and we're going to take advantage of that to mount some uh, sliding rollers and then make a tray out of plywood, cover it with carpeting and be able to use the pickup truck. What we decided to use are these uh, ball bearing rollers which are available from Harbor Freight for under two dollars a piece and originally I was thinking of mounting these directly to the rail tracks like that but then I realized that the tailgate is actually an inch or two higher than the bed because of the bed tailgate protector so we're gonna take this piece of uh, this is their finished quality 1 by 3 pine from Home Depot we're gonna cut this to length and then attach it to these rails with some uh, conduit clamp bolts and then screw gun the rails into the piece of wood. Uh, we'll be taking these wood black. one by two to length and I noticed that the Nissan rails don't extend all the way to the back of the truck so I've added a block underneath here to provide support. Once we have this rail bolted, these wooden pieces bolted to the rail, we can then screw these ball bearings I have 14 of them all the way along here to make a rolling track. The idea would be to use this aluminum angle mounted to the underside of the plywood tray to ride on the ball bearings like so and allow the tray to slide in and out. These Thomas and Betts cone nuts which you can buy in the electrical department of uh, Home Depot uh, come in different sizes. I bought the quarter 20 threaded size. As you can see they slide right into the track here. Now if you don't have the Nissan track system you could do the same idea uh, by bolting a piece of wood screwing it to the bed of your truck that would involve some drilling. Uh, so you'd have to be comfortable with that. But one of the goals here is to have this system so it can be removed uh, without leaving any marks or drilling any holes. I've inserted the cone nuts at regular intervals you might have to squeeze these plastic flanges on them in order to get them to fit. Next, just put the wood next to each, next to the track, mark your holes, and drill a uh, hole sufficient for a quarter 20 bolt to slide. Okay, through. here's the first rail installed. You can see I put this block of wood underneath here, put it in with two screws, and then I used a, a quarter 20 Phillips head machine screw going into the track hole. So here's the two roller racks installed. This is step one. Okay, we have these balls on here, a total of six on each side, and uh, mounted to these. Uh, it's a very hard pine. It's a finished pine piece. I wouldn't recommend using soft pine or some other cheap wood. The next step will be to build the tray to fit on top of this, so that the tray okay, can slide the rails out. painted and installed. As you can see, uh, they look a little nicer in black than they did with the raw wood. A couple of points here. Uh, things I might have done differently. I used a 1 by 2 uh, very hard pine. I probably could have used a 1 by 3 and uh, it would have been as wide as these ball bearings. These are the 1 inch ones by the way from uh, Harbor Freight. They do make a 5 8 Also I could have mitered this piece of block of wood here to cover that slot there better but uh, when this is all finished you won't even see these rails. Okay, now we've taken this plywood which was pre-cut for us at Home Depot on their panel saw. By the way, I went to Home Depot because they have better quality woods with uh, smoother surfaces. Uh, Lowe's has better prices, but often a lot of their lumber is kind of cheap. We made these rails. I probably cut this flange a little too short, but I didn't want it to hit the tailgate. You'll also notice I bent it out slightly so that when the rollers hit it. Now it's a little tight right now. I might have to bend the flange or move these rails slightly. For side to side, uh, guidance it relies just on friction against the sides of the roller devices. Uh, I suppose you could take a 5 8 inch roller and somehow mount it sideways and get a really nice roller friction that might work really good. 
and maybe I'll upgrade this to do that. The other thing is I put the rollers on the bed of the truck and then the rails here on the wood. I suppose you could put a channel in the bed of the truck and put the rollers on the wood and have the rollers run in the channel or you could even use the existing channel in the truck if you're not too concerned about the paint wearing off if you have an older truck or something. That would make it very cheap and quick to do. Anyway, we're going to flip this over and put it in and see how well it's Okay, slides. here's the panel installed. And you can see it's a little hard to slide right now. But it does slide on the rollers. I think it'll loosen up over time or I can bend these brackets a little bit more. Uh, now I need to work on putting a fence around the sides and also putting little wings on either side to fill in these areas to make it more T-shaped. And also, we're going to mount a roller underneath here on the edge and put a metal strip on the tailgate that, that will ride on. So as you pull this out it won't uh, fall down if it's counterweighted. Well the man had his panel saw going. I had him cut these strips which are about five and three quarters and we're going to fit those onto the side here to take advantage of this side okay, space. Okay we added this wing panel here uh, and put it together with a strip that was also left over from the cutting of the panel and screw gun it together with some three, uh, excuse me, I guess they're one and a half, three quarter inch screws. Um, why did I do the wing panel? Uh, the dimensions here are over five feet by five feet and plywood comes in a four by eight sheet. So it's impossible to get a five foot by five foot panel. We have to add these little wings on the sides. Note that the patch panel is slightly shorter than the wing panel. Uh, that was done because the wheel well slopes and if it was made the same size as the wing panel the uh, side panel wouldn't go in all the way when you slide this in. Okay now the panel is completed and we have the wings on here. They're a little flexible but we're going to put a four inch fence all the way around this to hold our cargo in and also to stiffen the assembly. Okay we've got the uh, first the end rail installed. I just used some of these black sheetrock screws and I suppose you could get really fancy with this and like glue this before you screw it, but that just sort of smacks of effort. And uh, the whole idea was to have this done as a weekend project, not something dragging on for weeks at a okay, time. Okay, so here's the tray. You notice I put the two ball bearings at the end that's will rest on the tailgate, the metal strips for the ball bearings inside to run on, and these angle brackets, which you can see are already starting to get scratched up. Um, because they are very snug, but they're loosening up over time. Okay, here's the completed tray in the truck. And you can see it's a little wet because it's been raining out here. and got a little splash on it. It'll only dry out before I paint it. And you can see it slides in. It's a little snug, but I kind of like that because I don't want the sides to rub on the wheel wells. I have the bearings on the tailgate here. I'm going to put the metal strips there. That'll make that a little tighter. And also keep it from wearing on the plastic. And here is the straps mounted on the tailgate for the ball bearings. And here is the completed tray with these the rubber bag. bumpers press up against the tailgate and thus uh, keep the device in place when you close the tailgate. Okay, here's the completed project. It's a cargo tray for a Nissan pickup truck made of half inch plywood and one by fours and it's carpeted around the edges and it's on roller bearings. So it slides right into the truck and slides right back out to allow you access to the cargo. Here's another view of the completed project.